Yo, what's going on guys, my name is Defender Machine, and today I've got a video covering everything that went down at Comic Con late last night, what was revealed for the Call of Duty Black Ops 3 Zombies, and one of the main reasons that I didn't upload this video last night was because it was too late for me even to put a video together because everyone in my family was asleep because the news got revealed so late in the UK standard time, and believe it or not I did actually manage to make yesterday productive because I managed to get this gameplay in the background for you guys today, it is round 81 going into 82 on Zombies on Die Rise, and I want to say a few things about in comparison what I think should be on this Call of Duty Black Ops 3 Zombies in comparison comparison what they should bring back from all the Call of Duties that I've already seen. And to start things off guys, I really just want to say first of all that I won't be making this video too long. And there is obvious reasons behind that, but I think if we go too in depth with a video and make it like 20 minutes long, we miss the main points and then we go into depth on points that don't really even matter. So because of that, we're going to get straight into it right now guys, covering everything that came out first up until what we know at this present moment. And by starting out guys, what we first of all knew about Black Ops 3 Zombies is the fact that we could order a new edition of the game that we've never seen before. There has been prestige editions and they actually did that with the last Black Ops game. Black Ops 2, believe it or not, and the uses of what you got in the Prestige Edition for that last thing was a real life use, and they're going with that again, but honestly guys, I think the real life feature that we're going to get for getting the highest edition of the game this year is going to be more useful than any others we've gotten before, because when we got Black Ops 2, the Dragon Fire, it was made out of polystyrene, a lot of people like to put GoPros on it and fly around and stuff, but it wasn't too useful, but this year, we're getting a Juggernaut Fridge Baby, and obviously guys, this is just a novelty item, but it is a really cool way of going about making a novelty item for a video game in my opinion, because the Juggernaut perk itself in zombies is vital and a lot of people actually like that and like the aesthetics of that machine so by making a real life version of it that actually has a physical use and as well as that has other uses to do with perks the perk of cola coasters I think honestly this is the best idea Call of Duty have had to date about making real life memorabilia from a Call of Duty game one of the main reasons I think this guys is because not only in game is Juggernaut considered widely something good to have it's also considered good to have now in terms of actually just being a gamer because what gamer doesn't want a fridge and a Juggernaut fridge wait it's a, it's a freaking Juggernaut fridge I mean, Juggernaut's generally a popular perk, and something popular to have for a gamer in real life will be not going to the fridge downstairs every 10 minutes to get a drink and refresh himself, so why not get this mini fridge? Alright, so enough about Juggernaut fridges, and moving on to the actual trailer itself. Alright, so overall, the trailer were really good at hiding what time this is going to be set in, and the main reason they were good at this, because even though we know Black Ops 3 is going to be set in 2065, it honestly didn't make a change or look different from what we have in a modern day setting, or even something that might not be as up to date with modern technology, or a modern setting of way of going about life. And yeah, this is really understandable, to be honest, because trailer Arc really like to mess with our heads when it comes to revealing things because like it said in the short world reveal trailer first of all everything we know is wrong I know that might not apply for everything but it will certainly apply for some of the things and that certainly messes with my head knowing that it's going to be set in 2065 Black Ops 3 the game as a whole the whole campaign and the whole multiplayer but the zombies didn't really seem to fit that trend guys and that really gets me thinking about where they're going with zombies as a whole because we know there's only going to be the four character system like we usually see with online zombies but yeah it really does get you thinking about where they're going to be going with zombies with all this other stuff happening with the game game and where the game's going as a whole as well. Alright, so in terms of the actual maps revealed for zombies and what their names are, the only map that was revealed is what the trailer was set on and that is the map Shadows of Evil. And honestly guys, I think they did a really good job in just basing the trailer off of that whole map, that just that one map because they revealed a lot to us that will be confirmed to be coming back to zombies, such as old Call of Duty guns like the Type 100, or the Sten, there's a big debate over what this gun is, where the magazine's on the side, I sadly can't put a picture on screen due to copyright, but there is an old gun that might be coming back to Call of Duty Black Ops zombies because the game isn't fully developed yet but as well as that we also saw things on guns that really stood out to us that we didn't notice in the multiplayer so it was confirmed that the camo on that gun was an upgraded camo and we all know what the upgraded camo looks like it kind of looks like the gun has been malted with lava and stuff like that on the gun it leaves some really weird engravings and marks on the gun so we definitely know that that's coming back for sure as well as the four character system and by bringing these things back to the newest year's Call of Duty zombies as well as just the game this year I think Treyarch are really really good at listening to the community in terms of what they actually like and what we want to see within a game because in Advanced Warfare they didn't add too much that the community actually wanted but then they continue to fill the game with things that we don't need. We need skill based matchmaking removed but yeah we'll have a legendary gear set just saying. So now guys to conclude the video off I really just want to mention two quick things that I think were really interesting to add to zombies that they've added within the trailer as well and the first thing that I saw was this gumball machine or type of bubble gun machine and I think this won't be to do with the perks. A lot of people are saying oh bring back the old perk machines you're giving us a juggernaut edition why not bring back the perks but honestly I don't think this is going to be for perks I think this will be for the abilities on these specialist characters I don't know about you guys let me know in the comments but the main term for gameplay changes in terms of zombies this year that I think they're taking guys is adding the boss zombie if you didn't see that in the zombie reveal trailer I'm guessing you guys did see him due to the fact that he had three heads and giant tentacles which made him stand out from every other zombie within the game that we've previously seen so for today's video guys that's basically it but the final thing I want to say in terms of nostalgia that they're bringing back for sure that's right they're bringing back Dare Reese the map of the giant a remake of that from Call of Duty World at War previously first 
Honestly guys, I think Zombies this year will be really successful and I can't wait to play it, so let me know what you think in the comments below about all of this news. Thank you all for watching today's video and slap a like on it if you really enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys tomorrow in the next video. Peace out.